Hello everybody, I'm Thomas. Welcome back to another video. This time I'm back with a game called For Northwood, developed by Will Sue. I'm really excited to be covering this game because I've played Will Sue's games on my channel in the past, including Sandwich Guy, Loot the Loop, and The Emissary, which is what this essentially is. This is a published version of The Emissary, and I'll quickly go over how it plays. So it's a lot similar to the Emissary in very many ways. You have the four jacks appear with different abilities. The Jack of Eyes lets you draw two cards, discard two cards. This lets you discard all cards that match a current ruler's suit. This lets you exchange rulers. And this, if you're holding the fewer than eight cards, you can draw up to eight cards in your hand. Uh, each round, the goal of the game is to visit each of these, I think they're called fifes, the different like animal kingdoms. Um, and converse with with the rulers and try to persuade them to uh, join your cause. So uh, each round, I'll start with eight cards in my hand, and then depending on how my cards look, I'll then choose a uh, place to visit in the hopes that I can get the requisite number of like wins and like tricks won. Um, so if I visit this one, I need to win five times. Well, this one, I need to not win a single trick. Um, after that, I mean, you just, it's its very much similar to the Emissary after that. So you go back and forth, they play a card, you respond. So it's trick taking um, rules. So if you have the suit, you have to follow. If not, you can play whatever. Each of these cards has a different suit on them, dictating their trump suit. So they have, you know, a suit that they prefer. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. When you win at a place, you get to possibly call in the uh, kingdom leader for a substitute. So if you want to use their ability, all these leaders have different abilities. Um, there, are, there are extra leaders in the box. There's like 12 extra leaders that have like a crown at the bottom that they're more advanced. So today I'm just playing with the base uh, starting leaders. And that's pretty much it. Another thing that's nice that's different about this game is it's not a, like a whole win or loss scenario. So if you lose at a kingdom, you just don't get points each kingdom has a number of stars that you get from it. And then once you go through all of them, depending on how many stars you get, depends on how good you did. So let's just go ahead and see what my first hand of eight cards is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let me sort these and take a look at what I got. So not a great hand overall. Um, pretty strong flower suit going on here. I could. I could win that. I have some other decent cards, so this might be a bit risky to attempt. Um, besides that, I really don't have too much other great stuff. Four, I don't think I could win that. Maybe I should go for the, the Queen of Flowers. So I will choose that as my kingdom to visit. Place this little marker here to indicating that's the one I'm visiting. And then before we start talking, um, I get to, I do have the opportunity to use any of the Jack abilities. And personally, I'm a big fan of, unless I have a reason not to, I like using the Jack of Eyes right off the bat, which is I draw two and discard two. I like it just lets me kind of uh, sco sculpt my hand a little bit better. Um, so the eight's good, but I don't, I guess I probably don't want to keep that or the five because I don't want to get rid of all my cards because I still need to win one. But yeah, we'll get rid of those two and then uh, we'll be on our way. I think I'm ready to just start talking and uh, hopefully this goes decently. So they lead with a one paw. I respond with a two. This is already strange because I've already won one. So I think at this point, I'm gonna go ahead, let me scoot these over a little bit. They don't need to be like right next to each other, especially because I'm like gonna be exhausting them by like turning them sideways. Um, there we go, because I want to use the Jack of Flowers. This allows me to discard all cards that match the current suit. So I could just ditch all of my flower cards because those are probably going to win me some uh, hands. Now, hopefully they don't play any low leaf cards and I should be good. So let's see what they play. Ooh, it is a leaf card, but thankfully it's a five and they beat me out. And then eyes, I am completely safe because no matter what they play, I'm chilling. So boom, boom, I won one hand. That's a win for this kingdom. So I can move this down like that it says a little four northwood there i got three points from that i can refresh my jacks and then i will shuffle these cards and deal myself eight more all right here's my new hand of eight it's pretty good hand overall i got some really high leaf cards here I got six paw five and six eyes um so i'm definitely thinking something on this kind of half um i don't know i don't think i could go well maybe i could try to go for the seven i mean that's a big ask, but I do have some pretty good cards, especially if I ditched the flower ones. 
Um, or maybe I could go for this kingdom, play my flower cards, and then switch the rulers to like one of the leaf ones. That could work. Um, because I have some I have some good cards, but this I mean I can only lose basically one. Unless I use like the Jack of Claws to draw more cards. So hmm, I'm kind of debating between the two. I kind of like the idea of switching off. This is a good hand. I got a couple sixes, a couple eights. Um let's risk it. Let's go for it. Maybe, maybe I'll regret this. Whoops, I don't do that. I do this. And then I'm gonna use the Jack of Eyes, because I just like using the Jack of Eyes. Ooh, you get an eight paw and a three. I'll discard the um, three, and I guess the I'm not going to do the whole full hour bit, so we'll get rid of that. Well, let's hope for the best. I mean, I got to win with pretty much everything here, so we'll see. We'll see. So they lead with a four paw. I win with a six. Okay, off to a good start. They lead with a three of eyes. I can respond with a five. The one leaf, I can respond with a four. The one flower, I respond with a four. Wow, okay, this is going good. The seven, I, I will lose two, but that's fine. I have to lose at least one at some point. Um, but now I need to win all three of these other ones, which I think I maybe can. Let's see. Two eyes, yep, that's, that's fine. Play that, whoops, that goes here. And then hopefully they play a low paw. Wow, that is so lucky. They play that there. That doesn't matter what this is because this is the Trump suit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is a win on this kingdom. Wow. It was a bit of a risk, but uh, it paid off. All right, so here's my new hand of uh, eight cards. And it's not a bad hand. And I got a decent amount of flower cards. I'm kind of tempted to go for this six kingdom. Um, I have a decent hand, you know, why not? So let's let's go for it. I'm gonna, of course, use the Jack of Eyes to draw two. That is not the best. I'm gonna get rid of the one. I'm gonna keep the six, get rid of the three. And I'll squeeze this in here. So I need to win exactly six. Uh, let's see how this goes. They lead with the eight of flowers. I guess I'll respond with the one and lose that. That's okay, there's one of my losses. Four of paw, I can beat with a five. Um, what do they play next? The Eight of Leafs. Man, they're killing me. I have I might lose this. I might have to call in the Jack of Claws, which is going to get things real confusing, but we'll see. Um, four of Eyes, I can beat. As long as they don't play the seven, Six of Paws, I can barely beat. As long as they don't play the Eight. Did they already play the Eight of Flowers? Am I dumb? Did they already play that? No, they did. So I think I'm, I'm guaranteed. Well, they still could beat my four. So let's see what they play. See, there's a five, so I can play the seven. So I guess the six is what I gotta be worried about. Um, that's good, because I can beat that with a two. Then don't play a six, there we go. So that's that's that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a win at that kingdom. Well, this is this is a hand, all right. Um, I kind of like this hand, because I was thinking, like, I. If you haven't noticed, like, I like going for the edge ones first, because those are always the trickier ones. So if like a hand looks like it could work for one of those, I like trying for that. Um, so I'm trying to complete this one down here before too long. <sighs> it sucks because I wanted to switch out the king, like the, the rulers, but there's no flower ones to switch to. I could switch to the heart or the eye and get rid of one of the my eye cards, so then it might be okay. Um, well, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I think this is fine. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, because I think I could just use all my jacks up here. Like, it should be pretty easy. Famous last words. So Jack of Eyes allows me to draw two. I draw two flower ones. Um, I'll keep both just to get rid of the eye and the eight. No, 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 The eye and the five. Yeah. So I'm gonna discard those two. And then I will use the Jack of Flowers, right? To discard all cards that match the current ruler suit. So I get rid of all of these. And then I use them. And then I use the Jack of Leaves to exchange rulers around and essentially swap this with, we'll go with the Queen of Eyes here. Something like that. So now I only have four cards. I have a one, one, two, and three. And 
I don't have any of the Trump suit, so I shouldn't win any, but let's see. They play, oh, that was close. Two of flowers, I respond with one of flower. Two of uh, eyes, I respond with that. And I think at this point, it doesn't matter what they play. Yeah, five, respond with that. Before I respond with that. Oh no, I didn't lose, or I didn't win any, but that's that's what this one wants. So that's uh, another win. Okay, there's my new hand. Uh, also, real quick, uh, I'll note the abilities on the uh, leaders I have so far, because I know the text might be a bit small. So this one at the far end lets me look at the top three cards of the deck and return them in the same order. Queen of Flowers lets me place the top card of the score pile face down on the top of the deck. Pretty nice if you're trying to like score low and you accidentally score above, you can use that to kind of revert back. Uh, King of Flowers lets you discard two cards whose value uh, sum to exactly nine. Once again, that's a pretty good card to try to score low. And then you also have a look at the top card of the deck, exchange it with a card in your hand. Pretty neat. Um, yeah, I really don't, I mean, I like all the, the, the abilities I have, like all the jacks up here. The, the jack claws is definitely the one I use the least. Um, you can kind of swap out, I'm pretty sure, any suit with any suit. Like, I don't think it has to be a flower for the flower. I don't think. Now I kind of want to double check the rules. Okay, you know, it seems like you could place any suit on any jack. So I think I could like, if I wanted to this next round, use the King of Weaves, put it on top of the Jack of Claws and then have that ability to use instead. Um, yeah, but with this hand, like this one looks, the Queen of Claws is looking pretty good. Um, yeah. And maybe I will call up the Queen of Flowers to replace the Jack of Claws. And then we'll visit here. And then I'll use the Jack of Eyes first to do the old draw two. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm just gonna essentially discard these right away, I think, yeah. Um, okay, that doesn't happen too often. So yeah, I think that's, we're just gonna kind of get, get talking and see what happens. So six of flowers, I can respond with a two of flowers and lose that. Eight of leaf, I can respond with a six. Five flower, I can respond with a one. I haven't won any yet, but I still have all my uh, paws, which is Trump suit. So eight, oh boy, I can respond with a one, I guess. A five, this ain't good. If they play another paw, I'm screwed. I have to like maybe switch suits or something. A four. <laughs> okay, I lose that one now. Um, so yeah, now I need to call in the, I need to call in the Jack of Leaves to switch these two around so I have some more trump cards and I can maybe actually win this okay good I can play that win that and then use the jack of flowers discard all cards matching a suit discard that that is two wins and that is a win for this kingdom uh, I believe how the, the even though I brought this ally in and didn't use them I still think like their ability like I can't use them anymore so I think it's like a you use it you lose it I'm pretty sure that's how that works my hand, um, not the best hand in the world. I'm kind of debating going for this kingdom and then trying to use my two right away and then switching off. So because then I have a decent amount of trump cards, even though they're not high trump cards, I still only need to win three. I think is my plan. Um, so I'm going to go Queen of Weaves. I'm going to use the Jack of Eyes to draw two. Wow. OK, um, maybe I don't need to switch off. I could just keep that all and then get rid of like this seven. And I like I like getting rid of if I only have one card of a suit to get rid of it, because then I could play whatever on that suit, specifically if I want to like win or lose it. So yeah, I'll get rid of that. And then I think just keep what I have, which is pretty good. I think I can easily win uh, two or three. I could probably win three. Let's see how this goes. So eight of eyes i can respond with the two of leaf which is trump and win that then they're going to lead with the three of flowers i'm going to respond with two eight of paws i'm gonna to have to respond with a two five leaf i can respond with a seven i'm debating do i want to switch now i know i have an eight and that's like a guarantee but the only thing is i don't want to be stuck with two of like the same suit at the end that seems not ideal um this may be a bad idea, but I'm going to use the jack to switch these around. Might be a terrible idea. 
Who knows? <laughs> so let's see what they go with next. Three. That, that's see. It, it ended up working out. Well, maybe. Um, cause that I don't have eyes, so I can respond with whatever. Play that. I have my three wins. I can use the Jack of Flowers to at least get rid of my four. But now as they just can't play an, a, a leaf, or else I'm screwed. Okay, we're good. I can get rid of my eight, and then my flower is safe, and that is three wins. So that is a win at uh, that kingdom. All right, here's my next hand. Um, honestly, pretty good for pause. So I think I'm gonna try to go for that and kind of make my hand work for that. Uh, let's see if I wanna bring in any of the other leaders because I haven't been using them too much. I kind of like the King of Weeds. Maybe I'll, I'll give them a, a try. That lets me look at the top card of the deck, exchange it with a card in your hand. Um, that could be pretty fun. Um, yeah, so then I'm gonna use the Jack of Eyes. I'm really trying to think this there. I don't wanna mess this up. Draw two cards. Okay, I need to win five. So this is gonna be Trump. I guess let me move this so I know what I'm doing. Um, and then move this here so I could get rid of two. I guess I'll go with one, two. I mean, that's a pretty solid hand. Like I should be able to win five, I think real easily with this hand. It might be too much, but we'll see. Um, I mean, I always have the Jack of Flowers to like discard stuff. So let's see how this is gonna go. First card, five of paws. I will, I'll respond with a six, I'll win that. Um, five of flowers, I'll also win that with my eight. Got the leaf, I'm gonna probably lose this on purpose. I could win it with a one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose this one. Maybe that was bad, but let's see. Okay, one of flower. Cause I'm pretty much, uh, okay, we'll, we'll win this one. I don't wanna like, I don't wanna overdo it, right? Um, let's see, four of eyes, okay. So already at four. If they play another eyes, that'd be great. Wow, that's perfect, right? Because that puts me at five wins. I have two cards in my hand, but then I could just use the Jack of Flowers to discard both of these, and that is another win. Man, we are one win away. So here's my hand. Um, I'm, I'm going to this kingdom because that's the only one that's left. Yeah, the issue is, um, yeah, the, the trump suit is leaf. I don't have a single leaf card. I got pretty good cards, to be honest. Got eight, seven, six, and paws, a seven flower, eight eye. So like, not bad cards, but not a single trump suit card, which is probably gonna make things a little difficult. Um, I kind I mean, I have a lot of good abilities out here that I could use. I kind of just want to stay with the, the base abilities, especially like the Jack of Claws has been the one I've been replacing. Um, this one I might, I might need. So let's just start using some abilities. I'm going to start with a Jack of Eyes, draw two cards. Okay. Um, I don't even know if I want these. I kind of don't, but I'll take them. Get rid of like the one and the two. Like I don't want my hand being too good. I guess I can always get rid of stuff. If, no, I can't because I'm not, hmm. This is weird because <laughs> I can't use the Jack of Flowers because I can't exchange anybody around. Hmm. Honestly, you know what? Maybe I will kind of downgrade my hand to like, oh, this is tough. Man, I kind of kind of don't know. Um, yeah, maybe this is good. I don't know. Maybe this is an absolute mistake, but I don't want too good of a hand. I only need to win four. But I don't have any trump suits, so like, let's see how this is gonna go. They lead with a flower. Okay, I, I can beat that with a seven. Three paw, I can definitely beat with a six. We're already halfway to our wins. Maybe I should cool it a little bit. Okay, that I'm going to lose. I don't have a choice. Four of paws, I could win. I'm gonna choose to lose. I don't know. Uh oh, five of leaf, I don't have much for. Maybe I shouldn't have chose to lose that one. Oh boy, there's seven of paws. I should have dropped, oh no. Um, okay, well I have to still respond. I guess I, I have to, either I, I bank on the next card as a paw card, or I use the Jack of Claws to draw up to eight cards. Sure, let's do it. Right? That's what it says. If you're holding fewer than eight cards, draw until you have eight cards. That seems crazy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Somehow not a single Trump suit card still, but let's see if we can work with this. So they lead with a four. I'll respond with, I guess, a five. Um, they go with a six. I'll respond with the four. Give me something I can work with. There we go. Okay. Now I just need to lose all the rest. If I win another one, I'm screwed. Okay. Eight. I'll play an eight. It's getting close. Seven. Okay. No, I think I'm safe because I just need to get rid of this other three. Yeah, we're good. Because that can go there. This goes here. Final card. Don't care because I won. And then on the back of this, there's a little score thing. So I got four, seven, nine, 10, 11, 13, uh, 16, 20, right? 20 points, which is just a, a perfect game. I gotta say though, I, I really am happy to have this game. I really enjoyed the Emissary a whole heck of a lot. Just the idea of a solo trick taking game was so interesting to me. And I think this does such a good job at refining a few edges, adding a whole lot of new stuff. It has the extra rulers that add extra complexity. And I have to mention that they have the noisy year. It's like this little booklet that has like, it's a little mini campaign. It's like each month of the, the year has like a different like chapter to it. It has different rules and different setups and whatnot. So they have a whole little like mini campaign book that comes with this game. So it's a it's a tiny box you can see here. If you've ever played like uh, Orchard, it's like about the size of that, a little bit bigger than Orchard, but like it's a small, small box. And it's it's such a fun game that the card, like the material is really nice. Um, they have a lot of cool abilities on this. So overall, I am I'm very thrilled to finally have this game and to play it on the channel. So I expect to see more to it of it in the future because um, I really enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. And until next time, I'll see you.